Step eight, game of mortgages, lock in your interest rate. So you're in contract, the offer's been accepted, and now we need to go over interest rates, shop the rates, make sure we're getting the best rate, and lock it in for you so you don't have any fluctuation. Well, sidebar here, there is a lock and shop program. So some lenders have the ability to lock your rate before you're actually in contract. Now there's fees for that, and there's certain timelines in which you have to perform. And just because of those upfront fees and the timelines that you have to perform, we're not seeing a lot of clients utilize that program. So you're typically locking your interest rate after you're in contract. If you have questions about lock and shop, just reach out to us. So you're in contract, we're locking your interest rate. What we wanna do is go over a few different interest rates op options for you. And really the big thing is how long do you think you're gonna be in the home? This is what's super important. Because when you're locking in your interest rate, I think a lot of clients think like, it's just this rate. Here's just the rate that you have. But as a mortgage lender, I probably have 30 or 40 different interest rates that I could offer you based on your financial fingerprint. So what we need to do is we need to determine how long you're gonna plan on being in the home, what you have available to buy down the interest rate if you want to, and then when is that initial investment to buy the interest rate down actually gonna pay dividends for you in the future? Those are the conversations that we have to go through. But what does locking your rate actually mean? What it means is, is while we're in contract, the rate's not gonna change. So the last thing that you wanna do when you're in contract and you're worried about your inspections and pest inspection, home inspection and appraisal is worried about interest rate fluctuation. So as a lender, we're gonna lock in the interest rate and there's no up upfront charge for that as long as it's in one of the normal escrow lock periods. What do I mean? So a typical rate lock is like 30 days and then longer rate locks can be 45 or 60 or 90. When you usually get out beyond a 90 day rate lock, there's upfront fees to lock it for a longer period of time. If you're in a 30 day escrow, we're gonna lock your rate typically for 30 days. Now don't worry, we can get extensions. So we can actually extend your rate for a period of time beyond that rate lock. So if something happens in the escrow where the escrow is delayed, we can actually extend that rate lock out a little bit longer, but there's a cost for that. And so what we want to do is have a conversation about whose error is it? Like, is it lender's error? Is it the buyer's error? Is it the seller's error? And if it's the seller's error, maybe we have the seller cover those lock extensions. If the buyer's error, maybe the buyer pays it. If it's the lender's error, the lender should probably cover those lock extension fees. But don't worry, if you've locked in your interest rate, most lenders have the ability to extend that rate lock out for a period of time or daily. So one day, two day, three days, or 15 days, or 30 days. They can't extend it forever, but they can extend it and get you a little extra time. The other thing is, when we lock in your interest rate, we're securing the pricing for the day based on your financial fingerprints, so like your social security number, right? Your debt to income ratio, all those things, and the house. So that rate lock is only good for that house. So if you cancel on this transaction and go get into contract on another home, it's a whole new rate lock. So if the market moved, it's new terms. The other thing is, is you can always call us later in that escrow period and move around on that rate sheet. So let's say we give you one option with no fees and then another option with maybe higher fees to get a lower interest rate. And at that initial rate lock, you kind of think we don't want to pay fees. We don't want to pay the fees. We like the rate. We're happy. But two weeks go by or a week goes by or you sleep on it and you want to change the rate. That's no problem. So I think the important thing to know is when you're locking your interest rate, what you want to do is kind of lean towards what you're most comfortable with. You still have some time to think about it and make changes, even if the market is changing because you've locked in the rate at the time that you're in contract. The rate lock process can be a little complicated. If you have any additional questions on that, please reach out. We would love to connect with you about the rate lock. The next step in the process is actually signing your full disclosures, your loan disclosures, and getting updated documents. So make sure you check out the next video for that step.